Hey there, scrappers and recyclers, it's Shark Scrapper. What do you do when you get a motherboard where the socket frame has been removed? It makes it somewhat difficult to decide what kind of motherboard are we dealing here, especially if you're getting ready to sell it to BoardSort.com. So, that's okay because Shark Scrapper's got some answers for you. Come on, let's dive in and figure out how do we determine which board is which. We're gonna start with this board first. <clears throat> the first thing we do is we look at the socket. Now, even though the bracket clamp is missing, we can still identify this board with a little bit of sleuthing. Now, the first thing we look at is that we see that the socket, the opening of the socket in particular is rectangular, relatively large size. Uh, and that there's no hinging mechanism on the plastic. So that suggests that the hinging mechanism that was used to clamp down the CPU was part of the metal bracket that is now gone. So this would suggest to us that this was an I-series type of CPU. But we can see a few more hints here at what to add up. Now the second thing we notice is there are no gold cornered BGAs anywhere on the board. That's a very important tell because when circuit boards progressed into the newer generations, the manufacturers moved away from gold tab BGAs in lieu of a single flip chip and other components on the board in order to reduce the the cost of manufacturer and therefore the amount of gold that's on the board. We also see that this board has a slot that was probably for one of these Wi-Fi type gold finger cards suggesting again that it was a newer board. When we look at an i-series CPU we can very clearly see the similar rectangular pattern in the middle and then the pads around the outside. All of the indications here suggest to us pretty quickly that this was an I-series board. So this will go right into the I-series motherboards. Now I went and grabbed a random I-series. We normally see this crooked arm here as the indicator of an I-series board. And you can see the similarities are very clear between the inner frame of this CPU holder with this socket. So the sockets look very much the same. We can see that we have a single flip chip with no gold cornered BGA, single flip chip, no gold cornered BGA. Uh, we have slots for Wi-Fi and probably um, another processor. So the similarities are very obvious this is a i-series board and we'll put that in with the i-series motherboards. Now this second board is a little more difficult but let's talk through. The first thing we're going to look at is the socket. Now we see that this socket appears to be more square than the previous one, a little bit smaller and we might have a hinge mechanism over here for holding the CPU in place, but we can't tell for sure because it's been damaged, but it sure looks like it might have been that the plastic hinge mechanism held the CPU in place and not the metal frame that's missing. The next thing we look at is the gold cornered BGA. Now that tells us that this was an older kind of board, not an I-series board, combination of a gold cornered BGA and a flip chip tells us that this could have been either a P4 small socket or a small metal socket motherboard in the grading scales that are used by boardsort.com. <clears throat> two different types of boards, two different values. It's kind of hard to tell by looking at the slots and sockets here Although they do look like they have some pretty good gold plating on them, these pins are definitely completely gold plated. 
when I look in here, I, you know, it's hard to tell. Are they completely gold plated or not? Well, uh, let's take a look at comparing this board to the two potential candidates. We've narrowed it down to it either being a P4 small socket or a small metal socket. They both have gold corner BGA and flip chip, gold corner BGA and flip chip. So that doesn't help us to make a determination. The P4 uses this plastic hinge mechanism that sort of slides a little bit to grab the pins to hold the CPU in place. And this looks suspiciously like that kind of mechanism as opposed to the small metal socket where the metal frame actually held the CPU down in place. We can see that we have a lot more of these gold pins similar to what we're seeing here on the P4 motherboard as opposed to the newer metal socket kinda but they're still here ah there's no there it's it's leaning towards a P4 small metal socket uh excuse me a P4 small socket which would be plastic it's really looking like this and this are very much the same. But how do we make a final determination? Well, for that, we're just going to look up the part number. So if I look up Intel desktop board and this number D845GLVA. All right, so when I put in that part number, I get as one of my options the, the retro web. And it tells me that this is an Intel uh, D845GLVA Villanova. It has all of the specs on the board, which is really interesting. If, if you were going to try to, you know, rehab or fix a board or you're, you know, a vintage collector looking for parts. And it tells you that that socket is a socket 478 MPGA 478. When I click on that link for the socket, it tells me that the families of processors were Intel Celeron, Intel Pentium 4 Willamette, Intel Pentium 4 Prescott, Intel Pentium 4 Northwood. What this is telling me is that this is a P4 motherboard. So you can very easily now, with great confidence, put this in with your P4 small socket motherboards. You know, part of the, what makes this hobby or business so much fun is when we have to do a little bit of uh, brain work, when we have to use our heads for something other than a hat rack. Uh, it always makes for a very interesting time, and I always learn a lot when I do this. Now, I'm one of those people that tries to figure out stuff on my own through the various tools that are available to me on the web, but if you're more inclined to just ask questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, join me on my website at sharkscrapper.com or get ready because we have a YouTube membership that'll be opening up here pretty soon that's going to open the doors for you and your questions. All right everybody, I got plenty of boards I still got to get through so why don't you check out the videos popping up on either side of me and the round one in the middle that might even be covering up my face right now if you're lucky will help you to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of Shark Scrapper.